Before we start the video, I'd like to thank everyone who watched, liked, and subscribed to this channel. Nearly 98% of my audience is not subscribed, so it would mean a lot if you could hit that subscribe button, as well as liked and commented on the video. Patrick Dangerfield is widely considered one of the modern greats of the game, with a long list of personal achievements, including being one of five players to be selected as an All-Australian eight times in his career. His career in the AFL began controversially when he was selected by Adelaide with the 10th pick in the 2007 National Draft. Due to his commitment to studying in Victoria, Dangerfield could not train with the club consistently. He made his debut for the Crows in round 20 of the 2008 season and played two games overall. The following year, he became a regular in the Crows senior side. Dangerfield's style of play was often compared to that of Crows legend Mark Rusciuto as a fast-paced, attacking, mid-forward type. In the 2010 and 2011 seasons, Dangerfield continued to develop his game, increasing his disposal and goal averages, and was given more responsibility in the midfield. His emergence as a star of the AFL began during the 2012 season. He played in the midfield full-time and managed to increase his average disposal count from 17.1 to 26.7 per game scoring 23 goals throughout the season. Dangerfield's notable performances in 2012 included winning the showdown medal after recording 39 disposals and 14 inside 50s in round 5. He received his first ever selection into the All-Australian team as a forward flanker and finished 7th in the Brownlow medal. During the 2013 season, Dangerfield had another strong season, averaging 23.3 touches. He was selected for his second All-Australian team as a forward flanker and finished 4th in the Brownlow medal. Dangerfield had his best season as a Crow in 2015, averaging 26.8 disposals and one goal a game. He was awarded the Malcolm Blight Medal as the club's best and fairest and selected into the All-Australian team for the third year straight, this time as a midfielder. At the end of the 2015 season, he announced his intention to pursue his rights as a free agent to return to his hometown of Moggs Creek, just outside of Geelong, and he was officially traded to the Geelong Football Club in October. Dangerfield had an outstanding start to the 2016 AFL season. He made his debut for Geelong in the opening round against Hawthorne, where he amassed 43 disposals, breaking the record of Greg Williams for most disposals in a debut for a new team. He continued his form throughout the season, recording 30 or more possessions in 15 out of 22 games, with a career high of 48 possessions in a match against North Melbourne in round 12. He finished the season with 24 goals and won the Lee Matthews Trophy, a fourth All-Australian team selection, the Herald Sun and the Age Footballer of the Year Awards, the Lou Richards Medal, and the AFL Coaches Association Champion Player of the Year Award. He also won the Kaji Greaves Medal as the club's best and fairest, and the 2016 Brownlow Medal. Dangerfield led Geelong into the finals, and his strong form continued, recording 35 disposals and 7 clearances in the qualifying final, and 39 disposals, 1 goal, 9 inside 50, and nine clearances in the preliminary final. In 2019, Dangerfield continued to perform well, averaging 27.1 disposals, 1.1 goals, and 14.5 contested possessions per game. He also had an impressive tally of 650 disposals and 349 contested possessions for the season, ranking 13th and 4th in the league, respectively. He was considered a strong contender for the Brownlow medal again throughout this season and finished as the runner-up with 27 votes. Dangerfield was also selected for his seven all-Australian team and helped the Cats to a successful season, finishing first on the ladder for the first time since 2008. Despite the individual accolades, Dangerfield finally experienced premiership success in 2022 when Geelong beat Sydney. He registered 27 touches, including six goal assists, which is an AFL grand final record, 12 score involvements and nine clearances. We move to Ben McAvoy, who was drafted by St Kilda with the ninth pick in the 2007 draft and made his debut in 2008 due to an injury to Michael Gardner. He played consistently in St Kilda's VFL affiliate team and had a breakout season in 2011 after working on his fitness and technical skills. In 2013, McAvoy was traded to Hawthorne in exchange for Shane Savage and Hawthorne's first round pick. He played in the Hawthorne teams that won the premierships in 2014 and 2015 and was named the club's captain for the 2021 season. After a player vote, he became the first captain to play for another team since 1945 for the Hawks. He called time to his career in 2022 after 252 games 
and two premierships. At pick number eight, Lockie Henderson was chosen by the Brisbane Lions. Playing for the Geelong Falcons in the TAC Cup, Henderson was a key position prospect. The Lions trialed him in the back and forward, but after 15 games, Henderson requested a trade back to Victoria. He was traded to Carlton in 2009 for the Blues first and second round picks as well as Brendan Favola. He was played in the forward line, even kicking three goals against his old club and playing 19 matches that season. In 2011, Henderson was moved to the back line out of necessity due to injuries, but managed to find a consistent position there. He played 102 games for the Blues and kicked 101 goals. In 2015, Henderson was traded to Geelong, where he was consistently in their back line. However, from 2019, he struggled with form and getting into a strong Cats outfit and then announced his retirement at the end of 2021 after 206 games. At pick seven, Reese Palmer was chosen by Fremantle, a product of East Fremantle where he played 14 games and averaged over 20 touches in his final six games. For Western Australia in the under 18s competition, he averaged 32 possessions and three goals per game, earning him second in voting for the Lark medal and a position in the under 18s all Australian side. He performed well in the draft combine with a 10 minute and 25 second 3K time trial and 14.8 beep test result. Palmer capped off a successful first season, averaging 23 disposals and kicking 10 goals in 20 games, which earned him the Rising Star Award. However, a knee injury and subsequent construction in 2009 restricted him to just five matches. In 2010 and 11, Palmer struggled to regain his debut season form and requested a trade to GWS in 2012, citing a desire to play more on-ball minutes and regain form. He was quite consistent for the Giants, playing 69 games and kicking 72 goals. However, in 2000 in 16, he was offloaded to Carlton for an 8th round pick. He only played one match before he was delisted at the end of 2017. Palmer had a few controversies since, including throwing his shoes onto a racing track and facing bands, as well as being involved in a motorcycle crash in 2019 and being placed in an induced coma. He has since been playing football at Kalgoorlie City Football Club and was the best on ground in their 2021 grand final. Down to pick number 6, David Myers was drafted by Essendon. Originally from the WAFL. Myers was a tall, big body midfielder standing at 191 centimeters, or six foot three, who boasted immense kicking power. Over 12 seasons, Myers played 122 games and averaged 18 disposals per game. He rarely could crack into the main team, having played more than 10 games in only five seasons. This was due to consistent injury struggles. He was one of the 34 Essendon players found guilty of doping during the 2012 season and thus served a 14 month suspension. In 2019, he retired due to a loss of drive to play at the highest level. With pick number five, the Western Bulldogs chose Jared Grant. Grant was picked with the hopes of becoming a part of the Doggies forward line. Grant is best known for being stung by a stingray on the day of a preseason game, which he was named as emergency for. He did not play in that game, but debuted in round five of 2009, which was his only game for that year, in which he only registered a single kick. He returned in round five of 2010 and maintained consistent selection that year, even kicking six goals in round 22 against the Bombers and finishing the season with 29 goals. However, he was unable to better his 2010 season and he was delisted in 2015 and recruited by the Gold Coast Suns in the off season. He was delisted in 2017 after playing 95 games and 95 goals. While at the Bulldogs, he adopted the nickname Microphone Head. At pick four, Melbourne selected Cale Morton, who was a product of the Claremont Football Club in the Waffle. Morton held high aerobic capacity, recording a 15.2 in the beep test at the draft combine. He was touted as a midfielder who could play forward as well with an accurate kick. He was awarded the Lark Medal for the best player in the National Carnival in 2007. He was an impressive player in the AFL, playing 19 games in his debut season, averaging 18 touches per game and kicking 12 goals. He would continue to improve in his second season, playing 21 games and averaging 22 disposals. However, his career would decline from there as he only managed another 36 games in four seasons. He was traded to West Coast in hopes of reinvigorating his career, but only managed three games until he was delisted in 2013 after 76 games. With pick number three, the West Coast Eagles chose Chris Marston. He captained Western Australia in the 2007 championships, leading them to the title and averaging 25 disposals and five clearances. He played nine games in his first season, averaging 15 touches before his season was cut short due to a groin injury. He came back in 2009 and improved with an average of 20 disposals in 19 games and even a 38 disposal showing, which earned him the Rising Star nomination. He was in and out of the side for the next two seasons until 2012 when he found a consistent 
consistent spot in the Eagles midfield and averaged 23 disposals for the next six seasons. He was part of the 2018 Premiership side where he registered 14 touches and a behind. He retired in 2019 after 215 games. At pick number two, Trent Cochran was selected by the Tigers. Cochran was notable for his class, balance, and ability to read the play. He debuted in 2018, playing 15 games and averaging 16 touches per game. After recovering from an ankle injury, he would continue to experience injury setbacks in his second season and only play 10 games. From 2010 onwards, Cochran was consistent in the playing side, being the main midfielder at the Tigers and averaging high 20 possessions each year. Even though the Tigers would struggle early in his career, Cochran would remain consistent and even being awarded the Brownlow Medal in 2012, along with Sam Mitchell, which is his best disposal and goal season to date. He also became the captain in 2013 and led the Tigers to three premierships in 2017, 2019 and 2020. Cochran relinquished the captaincy in 2021 but remains a main figure in the Tigers lineup coming into his 16th season. He also won the Tigers best and fairest three times and is a member of the All-Australian team for 2012. Carlton selected Matthew Cruiser at pick number one from the Northern Knights. Cruiser established himself as both the team's number one ruckman and key forward during that time, scoring 51 goals in his 33 games with the Knights. Cruiser was praised as a high draft selection due to his high level of endurance. His selection by Carlton was somewhat controversial as he was a priority pick awarded to Carlton after losing to Melbourne in that season. Many criticised Carlton for tanking the match to earn the number one selection. Cruiser debuted in round three of 2008, kicking his first goal with his first kick. Matthew Cruiser had a strong start to his AFL career, playing all 23 games in his second season for Carlton in 2009. He shared ruck duties with other players and also spent time in the forward line, scoring 13 goals. In 2010, he continued as one of the club's top two ruckmen and played his 50th AFL game in round seven. Unfortunately, his streak of consecutive games came to an end in round 13 of 2010 when he ruptured his ACL. He missed 11 months of football but returned to the VFL in May 2011 and then to Carlton in round 12 of that year. In 2017, Cruiser had a career best season, only missing one game and finishing third in Carlton's best and fairest. He was also selected in the initial 40-man All-Australian squad. He was appointed to Carlton's leadership group for the first time in his career before the 2018 season, but he relinquished his position at the end of that season. After suffering a foot injury in the opening round of the 2020 season, Cruiser announced his retirement in September of that year. He was later appointed as Carlton's ruck coach in December 2020 after 189 games and 94 goals.